my phone on silent. See something. See, that's the back printing. How long is that going to take? Let's see. Uh, where are you? Link. Another 15 hours? Yeah, 15 hours left to print it. It's a lot of print. I mean, the back is, is really thick. I don't have a picture to show you. But the back... Well, the robot is actually solid. So I think that's the longest print time of any of the parts is that back. Now when I when I did when I printed it, I uh, this is gray matte. Um, I really like this color. I really like this color. This gray matte finish. Uh, the uh, this is gray matte. And a spool comes with a thousand kilograms, and I had just enough left for all the prints. Um, the black, of course, there's, there's another you know color, but for the gray. So if you're if you're wanting to print this and you're not going to change the scale of the the Wally, you just need one one. Um, kilogram spool I had to buy another spool since I had to reprint a lot of this you know other stuff but I got no more than no more than one and some change if you, if you put in the fudge factor and what I what I do what I would do is for for the for the back pieces for the model pieces, like some of these, I'll show you in a second. Like, I initially printed this uh, face down, but inside there's there's a cavity, and the support was it was a bit too much. For this one, it worked out. But for this one, it didn't. So I printed it on this side with this laying down on the bed, and you can see, you can see the support. The quality is not so great with the support. I'm still learning about how to get this layer to work. I don't know. I don't know if this layer should be moved, removed. I'm thinking it should. I'm thinking this this may be a layer that's still part of the support that I can move. And the reason why I did it because you see the holes. If I print it on this side, if I printed it on this side, it would actually fill the holes in. I was using slicer, and um, I have not learned how to tell it which holes, which parts not to uh, fill. So then the hardest part was getting these holes clean. It was just, it was. Uh, if I still have it I don't getting these holes clean because you know in some cases you have to print it where you say support everything and then it fills the holes for the for these these panels for the body this one I didn't do with uh, brim on the inside. I just did brim exterior and no supports. So I have a little bridging issue here. But 
and the reason why I decided to do that is the same with this one I did no supports you see how nice and clean it is everything's clean I gotta take this out um, but for this what I did was for this one I said I support everything but I blocked this out I did this in cure 4.1 block it out so it didn't put any supports in here but I do have a little bed warp there but this one I, I had I said support everything and you can see it created uh, supports in here and, and I had to clean it out and, and that's just it's unnecessary it's unnecessary so I still had to do a little bit of more cleaning to it but it's, uh, it's unnecessary so so for those I don't think if, if you position if you find a way like here this had to be supported because I decided instead of printing it this way since you won't see the back I'll print it this way so then this side could be clean but this of course will you know will, will be kind of messed up with the support so I, um, I sacrifice this side so then the face of it is clean otherwise if I did it this way then you'd have all this all screwed up uh, you could, the option is you could print it this way then you'd have to find a way to support this and this so with this way uh, it created a support here and under here so you know when you when you print you have to figure out kind of like look at the part and decide which which side uh, is best to print on and which side you can sacrifice now I'm sure there are settings in, in for the supports that give you a hate support that give you cleaner crisper prints um, I'm still I'm still uh, kind of managing the settings for for um, let me see, excuse me saying trying to figure out what each of it you know learning the G code and just um uh, I've always been into that but so right now uh, how many I don't know Three. Yeah, I think it's just the 35 because there's no way in the world that little bot could have. It. Yeah, that's cool. This is gonna be cool. I'm excited. I'm gonna post the link of the video um, for the original for his version of it because he also did a video of all the movements and stuff I still have to do painting yes tracks I think yeah tracks so there's 70 in it right um, <laughs> this is tedious I reprinted these and I printed it without the brim um, initially I did it with the brim and yeah that's can you see that that's a lot of cleaning to do so I reprint it without the brim and it's easier to put in to the tracks so then I'm like okay am I supposed to do all 70 there's no way in the world that, that he wants me to print two times 70 so I'm thinking it's 35 per per wheel so that means I'm only got this one more to do and then I'm done and then I can start put assembling the wheel and putting the motor in Which is cool. There we go. So 
So I said, wait, see him. See, that's that age again. Can't remember if I, uh, if that's 35 or this is 35. That's 35. So I'm thinking that's it. Let me make sure. I know. Well, I lost count. Got distracted by mommy's voice. Half a 70 is 35, right? Half a 70 is 35, right? Yeah. I must have printed extra. Um No, this is this is this is all I got done. This is this is a lot. So now, since I'm done this, I put it together and I can start on a wheel. I'm not, I'm gonna do this off camera because it's pretty much duplicate of this. So um, I'm gonna move this to the side and I can start on a wheel. All right, so I need to put. Now this this may be tricky though because trying to get that connected to that end. We'll see. There we go. Let's see if this uh, is easy. Go this way. Let me see my. Maneuvering. Son of a nutcracker. Let's try this way. like crazy hard. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Got it. All right. Let's get the wheel done.
All right, so it goes like this. I need three 20 millimeter bolts. Not need one. Wait. <clears throat> um, one 10 millimeter. And two of those. Oh, so uh, this is the part I was talking about. So this part, you have to put, I don't know if you can see it. See that hole right there? You have to put the nut in there. Now this one has, <laughs> it's in there somewhere. Um, but with the angle of this, trying to, um, using a screwdriver to hammer it in, it's, it, it doesn't work so what happens is that you wind up kind of hitting the edges and probably pierce it through the skin so when printing this there's one bolt here I think this one this one's fine yeah, this one may be in place already yeah but this one is an issue see the bolt holes in the center so I'm thinking when we print this go halfway and then put the screw in and then continue your print Otherwise, unless you, unless, unless you, you could also, mm, I was also thinking you could, could also heat the nut, but that's not going to work because once you enter this cavity, you start to lose heat and it might not get to the back in time. And plus it would be, just, would, you know, burn through the plastic and so at any rate, all right, so this, 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 this. So uh, let's watch the. So the nuts are in. Then we put the back in. Then you put. I think it was these on this. I have to glue these on here though. This one, that, and it's gonna go here. It's gonna go on these three, and I think this goes in first. Yes, I don't. I think it should go this way. Yeah, and then this goes in like this. All right, so that goes in like that, and then these get this. That goes in here and here. This goes in here. This goes in here. Wait, no. This one is that. Alright, so I'm going to have to glue it. Alright. Alright, so I'm going to have to glue these in. heat it could bond but it would also be yeah I'm thinking this needs to be glued to it too because it's gonna turn 
the motor is going to turn this on the other side. So I'm wondering how far Get. I guess I could glue it to the back of that. That one dry a bit. Okay, so then this goes like this. And then on this side. Step 1080 for you. Well, this is 1080. That's 720. 720. So you can do 720 for both if you want. But, but why why stop at 720? Why not do um, 1080? What is like a couple dollar difference? Uh, 
might be used super cool might to use a uh, glue gun So that's that's a good uh, a good bond. The hot glue, yeah, I know. But this um, because because this uh, the in inside of the wheel here is so um, from the fill, it's not a solid. You know, it's hard for it to glue in place. So I'm just gonna glue it at these points, but I set I set the glue gun to 60 watts, so it's not gonna be over extra heated.
So then on this side, this goes here. And then this is gonna go here. And this will go to the motor. Here we go. So this is one foot. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Like, like for, like this piece. Like this piece here, these two, you could actually have made those one part with the bearing, with the axle, the two gears, that could have been one part. Uh, and then, of course, these could have all been, that's true. But, I mean, even, even, well, yeah, no, this, yeah, this could have all been one part. That's true. Alright, so now we do the motor. So this is supposed to fit in here. Um, I think, yeah, it's this way. Hmm. Yeah. Carefully. Um, so I take it this goes into the track. There we go. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> yes, I will. Put it on my to-do list. Look at that. Is that cute? That is so cute. Cool. All right. So next we have to install the motor. I already soldered the, the, the leads to it. Um. What's that last, uh, I, uh, okay. <laughs> I don't know what that last icon is. So I'm, I'm watching the video to assemble it. I mean, you didn't think I know this all on the top of my head. 
All right, so this is in. Now we put the motor, and I believe the motor goes these, these two. Glue. Uh, it looks like it's it is this part. Nope. Nope. This part and this part. Wait, so am I gonna have two motors? Did I only need to print one of these? I don't know. So the motor goes in in here. This and then this part. I got a headache. Goes like that. Look, that ain't wait, hold a second. Hold a second. I was about to hey. There we go. So this is going to go, because I think this goes on here. <laughs> so that gets a nut. See, there we go with the nuts going inside, and I guess a bolt. M3 bolt six. I got an eight. I don't have a six. Let me just do one side at a time. See if I have a small. I might just have to cut this. Yeah. I might just have to cut this bolt. Because that's not part of the set. I got eight. Three. I got eight is the shortest I have. I need to do six. You know, sometimes you can't, uh, It's a wire cutter. It's a wire cutter. It's just that these are for cutting bolts. Yeah, now I have a six. Now I'm trying to remember what I was. I think I was supposed to screw this one up too. Yeah. yeah. All right. All 
I got lost with the parts now. So it's this one and this one. This? Screwdriver? You already saw that. Alright, so this. here and I screw it in somewhere right there yeah that's better Nice tight fit. Alright, so somewhere in here there's, there's a washer that goes in here. That one went in okay. The first time I printed these, I printed it with, uh, no, this one I didn't. Um, but some of these, I printed it with supports, and it filled these holes in, and there's no way in the world you can get that out. Okay, see so what the I get what you're saying now. I'll send you the link. Cause it it comes with uh all of this. All of that. I hope you can see it. And the magnetizer. If you want to magnetize your the tip or demagnetize it, use that. Really handy. I need my hex screw. What I need to get is um, the, the, the glass thing you have, It doesn't, like, this isn't, I guess it's not supposed to close all the way, but there we go. So then this, I thought this, so it goes like, oh, I see, I see where it goes in there. I'm not supposed to put the gear in there. Where's the gear?
I'm questioning the position of this thing because I don't think it'll fit. It looks like the, the second bearing, second gear connected to the big gear is too big. Because maybe I need to find... <laughs> yes, yes, indeed. It's the way in the world. This has to go in here, but I'm thinking this gear is a bit too big for the gear underneath, or the gear underneath is a bit too big for this gear. Either way, it's not, it's not, uh, it's not working. So, let me do some trimming on this though.
I know you're probably saying something about the blade. So this, this side This side is definitely uh, Let's try it now the gear if the gear is just too I have to do a smaller gear that's some sh it doesn't crap I can put it in as long as I don't put the gear in. So the gear is definitely you know I don't need this on here right now. I'll take this off. This could be last. All right, Let's see what you're saying. I, I thought you was going to say something earlier, but I guess you were slacking. So, yeah, so this gear, yeah, so look. So you can see that this is the gear that has to go in place. And it's definitely too big, so and I can't. I, I glued this one in, so this is the one. Now that's going to change the ratio because it's going to be a smaller gear, so the turns on this is going to be slightly different.
Maybe there's um, maybe there's a way I could turn the motor. This. Ah, oh, wait a second. Wait a second. Maybe I could turn the motor around. So then. Ah. Maybe I could turn it here. There we go. That's how it is. My God. This may work. <laughs> we are mentally connected. All right, so. That's better. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Now, how do I get this to stay on? I can't glue it. I can't glue. I can't glue this onto the shaft. Can I? Bring screwdriver. There we go. So I wonder if I can glue this one to the shaft. It's really loose. Glue runneth over. So the the gear has a has a key in it. I don't know if you can see it, but the motor I ordered doesn't have that, so it won't stay in place. All right, so this is ready. So I can put this back on. the leg that's one now the other one okay so I'm thinking the body sits on here because the other one gets the same but it doesn't get a motor and you know what I could test this for me how many watts do you think 12 what do you think 5 uh, 12 volt no, if I if I file it, it it want to be smaller. 
So you say 12 volt. take 12 I'm thinking 12 because if the battery pack is 12 you think five but the the bat the, the pack is 12 12 volt battery pack Oh, there's a 5 volt. No, the motor is 12, 12 volts. getting stuck somewhere because these uh oh I gotta well it works just gotta screw this stuff in I need to go down more. No, I think just the one. Because we only. Oh, 
Oh shit. I mean, oh shoot. I'm supposed to order two motors. Guess I gotta order a motor. Ah, why well, do I only order one? Yeah, so I gotta wait on the other wheel then. It's supposed to be two motors. Oh, well, that sucks. Well, I ordered it on Amazon, so I should get it right away. This isn't. This isn't. Uh, I think I need a smaller screw for this one. I'm gonna use an eight. You have it. And that's the wheel. So now I need to order another motor. So the body. Sits on here. Right, like this. Tell, Tell me how many pills, pills you took. So that's the body. It's almost done though. Well, that's it. So that's done. Um, I'll probably work on the uh, other other leg, and then I gotta order a motor. I don't know how long that's gonna take. So, anyway, thanks for uh, thanks for watching and uh, and uh, subscribing or subbing, whatever it is. Later. Thank <laughs> you.